three data sufficiency questions, please pause the video and try doing these yourself. In case you are able to get all three questions right, you have really got the concept. Question is, is x even? Now see, 8y is supposed to be even no matter whether y is even or odd and the sum is odd. 8y has to be even, sum is odd, then therefore 5x has to be odd. If 5x is odd, x is odd. x is odd, so we have an answer that no x is not even. Remember, no can also be an answer. Statement 1 is sufficient. Statement 2 doesn't talk about x at all and therefore statement 2 cannot be sufficient. 1 is sufficient, 2 is not, A is the right answer. Look at the second question here. 5x plus 7y is odd. That means either the first term is even and the second term is odd or the first term is odd and the second term is even. But definitely one is even and the other is odd. Not sufficient. Look at statement 2. 6x is going to be even irrespective of whether x is even or odd. This is even. 5y can be even or odd but if the sum is even then 6x plus 5y suggests that 5y should should also be even. Only even plus even can be even. So this gives us some good information that 5y is even and therefore y is even. But this doesn't tell us much about x. So even this is not sufficient. On combining what do we get? On combining we know that 5y is even therefore y is even and therefore 7y is going to be even. If 7y is even 5x has to be odd and therefore x is odd. So on combining we get no x is not even x is odd. Remember no can also be an answer. Combining helped and therefore C is the correct answer choice. You could have also done this question a different way. Add the two, you get 11x plus 12y. That is when you are combining. 11x plus 12y is odd plus even odd. Now 12y is bound to be even and therefore 11x must be odd. If 11x is odd, x is odd. So on combining we can say that x is odd and therefore we get no as an answer. Look at the last one here. 7x plus 9y is even and therefore either both are even or both are odd. 10x is bound to be even. The sum is odd and therefore y must be odd. So 1 did not work, 2 did not work because 2, 10x would be even irrespective of whether x is even or odd. On combining what do we get? Combining we know that y is odd and therefore it is a second case that both are odd. So on combining we know that x is odd and therefore combining did give us a unique answer. The right answer is C. Once again, you could have solved this question. On combining, you could have added the two. 7x plus 10x is 17x plus 9y plus 15y is 24y is equal to even plus odd odd. 24y is bound to be even. The sum is odd. Therefore, 17x is odd. If 17x is odd, x must be odd. So that's another way to reach the right answer. The correct set of answers is A, C, C. This was the concept guys. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please refer the stage 1 videos. Thanks for watching.